All right. In evaluating this logarithm for here. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I have log base 2 of the fourth root of 8. So what we're going to do for this equation, or this expression, I'm sorry, we need to evaluate it, right? Now, there's a couple of properties of logs that we talked about when you evaluate or find the value. You guys remember log base b of uh, um, b raised to the b equals 1, right? We had log um, base b of b to the x. That just equals x, right? That was another one. And what was the one we had? Uh, we had log base b to the 0 on our equals 1, b to the 1 equals 0. Right? Those are, other, those are the first properties of logarithms that we talked about. b raised to what power gives you b? 1. b raised to what power gives you bx? x. b raised to what power gives you 1? 0. OK? So when we look at this, what we want to do is, well, we can rewrite the, four, the fourth root as log base 2 of 8 to the 1 fourth power. Right? Now, um, you guys can look at There's a couple different ways we could do this. If you guys remember the properties of logarithms, properties of logarithms says log base uh, b of x to the m is equal to m times log base b to the x. Right? So why don't we just take the 1 fourth and put it in front? 1 fourth times log base 2 of 8. What is 2? Remember what log base 2 of 8 says. 2 raised to what power gives you 8? 3. There you go, 3 fourths. So you can use our properties of logs that we talked about today. We could also, can I rewrite 8 as a, uh, as a, um, as a base raised to a power? What can I rewrite 8 as a number raised to a power? Is it 4 squared? Is it 3 cubed? What is it? 2 cubed. So another way I could do this is say log base 2 of 2 cubed. That's raised to the 1 fourth power. Right? Well, what happens when we have a base raised to that power? So you can also do it that way. OK, yes? No, it's just 3 fourths. That is the value is 3 fourths. 